do da day. I'm just gonna put on her lipstick and then we'll head out. Sound like a plan? Go like this? Mmm. Okay, thank you for blocking the camera. Okay, girl. It's ideal to wake up before your kids to do makeup because, ow, 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 that's my hair. It's kind of impossible to do it when they're awake. We're gonna go see Auntie Jess and Zoe and Gabriel. I'm really liking this lip combo at the moment. The, I think it's Kevin Aquan. I thought it was Elamasca, but I think it's called Kevin Aquan, um, like nude lip pencil in medium. And then C Sand Sun Matte sh sh <laughs> Mat Ow. Shaker from Lancome. All right, she's okay. super clingy right now, so I can't even hold the. All right, time to go say bye bye. Bye bye. Where's your nose? Show everyone your nose. Yay! And where's your head? And can you do twinkle twinkle little star? Yeah, up in the sky. Doing a grocery shop? Hmm? One of my favorite things in Tesco is that they have a little free fruit section for your kids to have to install some healthy eating and she loves these little oranges. Do you want another one? No? Okay. <laughs> Back from our little Monday grocery shop. Got some cute things. Got all of a really cute little summer outfit from Tesco. It was 12 pounds. Comes with little shorts as well, so kind of can make a couple different outfits. I thought that was really sweet for summer. Picked up some exfoliating gloves for a pound at Tesco because I need to get off my tan. Also, you guys know I love this. Absolute favorite face bronzer. Little hack is to get the body one because you get more for your money. It's the exact same ingredients as the face one, so. Save yourself some some moolah and um, it looks like it's gone natural though natural bronzer like this is different packaging So that's cool pick that up for Canada. I also got these really cute shorts. They're kind of like a I don't know what this material is, but it has a little bit of sheen on it It's like tailored and it has a really cute faux fur or like velvet um, leopard belt I got it in a UK 10, which is a US 6. Looks like it could be a little roomy. Sometimes Tesco fits a little bit big. Um, I didn't see an 8, so at least it has a belt, right? Thought it would be cute with like cool blouses, either like strapless, one strap, and like some clear heels that I have from Zara. And then we went into town and I went to the thrift store and I got this really cute like Super soft, it looks like it's never been worn. Uh, white, uh, 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 careful. Lightly cropped uh, sweater, thought that would be nice for traveling because it was 350 and if it gets dirty, it was 350. And then I went into Gordon's and I got this Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, full coverage, lightweight protective makeup, SPF 50, anti-pollution, and I got it in 220 natural beige. Looks like it could be for when I'm a bit tan. So I'm gonna bring it to Canada with me. I don't have a lot of um, drugstore foundations at the moment, so I wanted to try that. And then you guys know I love a cream bronzer. Oh, I just think it looks the most natural on the face. And this is a Irish brand, Suzanne Jackson. You guys know I've tried her dripping gold uh, self tanner. It's really good. And this is, she has a makeup line as well. It's the contour on the go, and it's the shade warm. So I'll be trying that out too. So that's my little, Grocery day haul for you. Got lots of fruit and vegetables. Patty and I are being so strict this week because we leave next Thursday for Canada and we want to be really, really strict. Almost keto, but not keto. Like we're not going super high fats. So we're doing some carbs as well, but just being very purposeful with our meals. I don't know if that's a word. Um, also, we're doing intermittent fasting as well. So I'm not eating um, until 12 p.m. and then we're stopping at 7 p.m. I always feel that I get more energy that way. The first day is always hard. Like I feel like I've got the hot sweats, I'm shaky. It's not ideal, but after like day two, day three, you're just like, all right, let's get going here. So I think I'm gonna make a nice um, crunchy cabbage salad tonight with some barbecue chicken. This is the end result of our dinner. Well, beginning result, but end preparation. <laughs> I have sriracha on mine, Patty doesn't want any. So we have some sweet potato. I didn't put any uh, like oil or anything to cook it, it's just sweet potato on it, some avocado, some chicken. Again, I didn't put, cook it in oil, salt, or pepper, literally just chicken. And then underneath is the, um, it's like a crunchy Asian salad. So it's cabbage, green onion, 
red cabbage, uh, a little bit of that crunchy noodle, some sliced almonds that were browned, um, some sunflower seeds, and then I just made a little sauce with sesame oil, olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of brown sugar, soy sauce, reduced salt, and uh, apple cider vinegar. I feel like I am such a rush this morning. Did I say in? I'm in such a rush this morning. I have my bag packed, all ready to go. It is literally so stuffed. I am heading to Belfast. I'm leaving up Olive with her Nana, and then I have to go to Clarence because they've invited me to come in to try out, um, I think it's like a massage facial or like a, a treatment basically. Then I have to rush back because I have something here with Patty at three, so. It's gonna be a little bit of a hectic day, but I've had a coffee with coconut milk. Made it to House Fraser Clarence Spa. Didn't even know they had a spa in here, so just waiting for my therapist to get ready. Had a little friend, but other than that, wearing the new um, Maybelline foundation, and very impressed so far. So cute in here. Getting the rise and shine body treatment and it also comes with a facial so it's just to energize me and get my day started this is the world's worst angle but I know it's annoying when you know youtubers say there's something exciting happening and then you can't mention what it is but obviously I want to keep you updated that something's happening I can't even tell you the grounds of what it is but hopefully hopefully I can in the near future hopefully we'll see um the full body massage and facial with Clarence was unbelievable. I've had a lot of, um, I wouldn't say it was like fully a facial like it was, but it was mostly like a massaging facial. So I'm just going to say massage because it was a head to toe massage. I've had a lot in my life, mostly when I was pregnant randomly, but that was hands down the best full body massage I have ever had in my life. It was in crab it was incredible it really was um it was an hour and 25 minutes so whenever you think she's done she ain't done which makes it even better and i had it done in house of fraser clarence in victoria square perfect gift for someone i'm obviously i'm not paid to tell you guys to go or anything it was strictly just a gift um and they just wanted me to come try it and i'm already thinking of who i can get it for as a gift because i'd rather that than like you know i don't know a gift card to Starbucks <laughs> so yeah highly recommend if you're in Northern Ireland because wow I feel amazing I'm ready to go take on this meeting with confidence <laughs> back home and I've just made dinner it's healthy once again this is what is this called <laughs> no um, I picked it up at Tesco's and it's called super seeds with quinoa and chia simply cooked so it's not even a full bag used. I only used three quarters of it for us on the side. I have fresh cod with lemon, salt, pepper, and garlic, and then zucchini and eggplant. And then for a bit of flavor, Chalula. You might not like this as much as yesterday, but. Senorita. Full? <laughs> Thought I would just show what I'm doing at the moment for my night time is skincare. I think I might film like a dedicated skincare video because I'd rather talk about the products um, a little bit more in detail. So I'll just do a little fast forward montage for you now. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't know how this gonna end. Oh no. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't wanna be just friends No, no Yeah Hit me out, hit me out That can make you do the craziest things Yeah I did and I did and I I did and I Are you happy, girl? What do you have, Olive? You like the ice cream? She actually never used to like the ice cream, just the cone, but the tables have turned. Who was the influence? <laughs> you guys are the cutest. Oh, Gabriel. Are you just so sweet? <laughs> Aww. 
I am just back from a nice little walk with Jess. We went around Port Rush, had a coffee, kids had ice cream. Olive is just back now. Thankfully she did a poo before a nap because it was literally right before I put her down. I got a very exciting package in the mail. Um, you guys notice I've like posted some things that I have received from Yes Style, which is basically like an Asian site that has beauty, fashion, homeware, a whole bunch of different things and normally I would be a little tentative with those sites but I've only raved about the items like that blue dress that I always wear is from there a cleansing balm I've used is from there so many I've actually always been really surprised with what I got so they actually give me a voucher um to spend so all of these are gifted and I do have a 10% off code so you're seeing it I'm just going to give you my honest reaction I opened up a couple of things and I was like oh might as well just open up on camera I just actually find everything runs a little bit small so if they have a size option go for the largest size if you're a curvier girl like me I did order some stuff for Olive I'm really excited this came before our trip to Canada these are little luggage uh packs to keep everything separate how cute they're like waterproof uh, i got two medium sizes i don't know what it says but <laughs> it's a squirrel a little chicken or a chick and then i got a small size which is a little rabbit so this is perfect for like socks and bows and then like shirts bottoms dresses whatever so this is perfect for packing especially if i want to keep her stuff uh, separate to mine and it's just all compact absolutely delighted with those and so cheap as well and um, whenever I came across a top or anything that I really liked I got it in two different colors because I regretted that with some of the other things that I got that I didn't get it in more colors but this is really cute this is like a black cold shoulder or is it even cold shoulder because it's like strap I haven't tried these on so hopefully these fit really cute though roughly long sleeve and it has a little um stretchy part here and it flares out a little bit more this one looks like i got it in two different colors so i must have liked the design oh yeah i do remember this one so it's like kind of like a prairie girl style um it is stretchy so i know it will fit i'm just a little concerned about this is it all in the back oh that's fine okay it just looked a little bit tight this part but if anything i might just cut that off to be honest if it's a little like restricting on my shoulders which it looks like it's going to be but yeah i'm just gonna snip that off but i really like that that's like a perfect length as well for like high-waisted things love that the sleeves are a little bit bubbled i believe this is one size as well which um it definitely can stretch so it's forgiving and then this is the lighter version of it really pretty it's like white with little red flower poppies yellows really cute as well yeah i'm definitely gonna cut that little strap thing at the back because i feel like that's gonna be restricting for my shoulders something else i ordered for all of you really cute little like kids accessories and just like little knickknacks oh this is so it comes with chopsticks we're gonna train our young <laughs> but how sweet is that it's like a speckled pink so this is like obviously a bigger spoon which is good for her so she can try and get a little bit more on the spoon and then look how cute that little fork is. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't order more colors because I only got the one, but maybe we'll keep the chopsticks for us. I even love that it comes in a container so I can keep it separate, especially for traveling. It's for Patty, just out of curiosity because he's six foot five and I know normally um, the site doesn't really cater to taller men. So I was just curious to see. Okay, they're a really cool material. They actually look really good quality. I'm just a little curious as to see if this that you know what i think this actually could fit them they're really nice they're like a kind of like a towel material so perfect for summer i like the stripes at the bottom i like the color the little detail of the smiley face is cute this actually might be a win we'll see he has long legs so oh pretty oh i love this it's like um ruffles around the neck and the shoulder which is really nice. And then there's some light ruffles on the way down. Is it lined? And it's lined. Bonus. This actually feels like nice, good material as well. That would be really cute with like a nice chunky belt right here to cinch you in. Now this is like an oversized sweater. Oh yeah, I love this. Black and white stripe, oversized, light, lightly sheared, not completely sheared, but um, you can get away with wearing like a black bra underneath. And then like um, a wide, uh, sleeve like a bell sleeve which I think is so pretty and stylish oh I love that that is a bit of me 
getting that UK slang. <laughs> oh my goodness. How cute are these little shorts? That actually will fit her. They're like <laughs> little mustard flowy shorts. Oh my goodness. The top might be a little big, but I could always tuck it in. Oh, how cute is that with the same color um, ribbon to match the shorts? It's in a 90. I didn't really know how to gauge the sizes for the baby. Um, but that's a 90 that will definitely fit her for a while, but how cute. I can tuck it in so it's a little oversized. Oh my goodness. This is just like a simple white blouse. Curious as to see what it would look like on. I feel like the sleeves kind of go to an awkward length and this neckline is a little bit tight. This one I might be a little mm, about. Mm, I feel like this is the only item I probably wouldn't wear. This is just like a classic button up oversized white shirt. It just looks really, really cheap. I'm gonna still link it down below so you can see it, but um, yeah, it's something where like, you know, if I didn't care about getting it dirty and I just wanted to throw it on for like a beach cover up because it is quite oversized, but I feel like this material doesn't breathe so it wouldn't be ideal in the heat. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I'll wear that, it's just, not the best. Oh yeah, so the black shirt that I first showed you, I got it in blue as well. I think that's so pretty. So again, this just keeps you up, which I feel like is it's nice that it's a little bit higher because I, I like covering like these areas right here. So it kind of just shows like your decolletage area. And then I love that the sleeves kind of flow out at the bottom too. The ruffle goes all the way to the bottom of the shirt. And this is a really pretty color blue. How cute is this? So cute, obviously it's faux leather, but it has like gold details, little um, zippers everywhere, and it does come with a longer strap. I think that is so cute. I'm really into like smaller, you know, everyday bags, and I didn't really have a nude color, so I thought that was really cute for like, I think it was like 20 pounds. I think this is so cute. It has a zipper so you can fully like close this part as well too. And this is long enough to like put over your shoulder. It's not like one of those like little ones where you can only hold it with your hand really pleased with this and it comes in like different color combos as well but i thought this was cute and universal really really pleased with that considering there is so much stuff here obviously i have to try some of it on but other than that like one random white cheap looking shirt everything was decent so pleasantly surprised with them every single time like i'm always a little like oh is it going to turn out the way it looks like online but every single time i'm surprised especially with these bags like I will link everything down below for you guys and you can check it out for yourself. Um, but I'm gonna get some food because I am getting the shakes because it's past 12 and I need to eat. We are in Dundonald Omniplex and we're gonna see the new Spider-Man 2. Um, uh, I think it's like a little, oh I shouldn't put that back. <laughs> Having a little date night. I know this is more for Patty than it is for me. Are you not Spider Man? I haven't seen Spider Man. The last time I saw it was like Toby Maguire. No. That's like five Spider Man. Does she even exist anymore? You don't see Andrew Garfield as this is Spider Man? No, I didn't even see him. This is Zendaya now, isn't it? She's not Spider Man now. No, but she's the girl. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen any of them, so. Big fan. <laughs> we got the recliners. Guys, we got the best seats in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah, better. Oh, I have such a headache today. Oof, not fun. Thankfully, it's not a migraine. Patty gets really awful migraines where he basically um, has to go into bed with like everything pitch black, and he can't even see, and he feels like he's gonna puke. Sometimes he does puke. So thankfully, it's not that intense, but it's just like very pounding. How cute is this shirt though? This is the Yes Style one. Love it, I think I'm gonna get the other color in it. It's like a larger, like it's more white than it is black, I don't know. It's 10 to 12 and we're doing the intermittent fasting. So we eat from 12 to seven. I'm like, I feel fine. I'm not like starving or shaky like I was the first day. And definitely my body's getting used to it. I do have some kind of melon and mango though. So maybe I'll eat that and add some banana in it. Get some potassium. Never mind, decided to have a salad. I had some of the mango and melon, but this is just um, a nice healthy salad. I don't have dressing on it. I did add red pepper and chili hummus, and then some of this, it's a graze 
little bits of honey, chili, peanuts, lemon, and black pepper, broad beans, garlic, sesame sticks, and edamame beans. High source of protein, high in fiber. Um, and they were on sale for like 50p, so just topped it with that. I look so tired. Oh my goodness. I hardly vlogged yesterday. Today's Friday. It was a pretty like okay day. Went to Sarah's. Um, Olive played with the twins. She napped for a really long time and she just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Like she was super clingy and like crying. And I was just like, I had a massive headache from the morning and it wasn't budging. So I just. I had no energy with her and just kind of let her crack on and she just wanted to like crawl all over me and like didn't really know what she wanted. Um, but she wasn't like, I guess in a bad mood after her little fit she had after her nap. Um, and then I went to a little meeting women's group that I have with some girls here and then literally went to bed because my headache was so bad and I slept until about 7.30. It's 8.15, Olive's still sleeping because she did go to bed till about 8 last night because Patty was out with her. So she must be, I guess, really tired. Today, I'm dropping Olive off at her Nana's and then I'm going to get my hair extensions taken off, rebonded, and then put back in and tightened because they've like grown out a lot because it's been three weeks, three weeks, three months since I've um, had them in in the first place. So. It's gonna be a pretty chill weekend. There's a lot of stuff we have to do, like cleaning and just getting ready because we leave Thursday, but my uncle and his friends come to stay at our house for the open, like the golf tournament, um, which is literally 15 minutes from our house. So we have to like prep the house for people to stay while we're gone. It's one thing to pack already and then clean your house as you do because you want to come home to a clean house, but it's also like making sure there's like perfect towels out, perfect bed linens, like everything is written out so they know what to do. Um, I know they're not really in the house for a majority of the time. They're out playing golf and like out to eat, but also on a side note, we finally got our kickboards installed. So Wayne came over last night and installed them. Now we just need to prime them and paint them the same color, but it makes such a massive difference now that you don't see like massive dust balls when you walk in. I had made it to the hair extension hub with Zoe over there <laughs> and she's refitting and everything is going well. She said that all of the little um, eye tips have stayed in a line, so it's easy to take them out and put them back in, right? So we're flying through. I might just um, keep a little extra off here because I always tend to like wear my hair back like that, and I like to wear headbands, so I'm gonna keep like two strands off at the sides, and I find that like they're so thick anyways I can do without four strands. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show you the after when it's done. Welcome back to the vlog after I hardly vlogged yesterday. It was a long day, so. Today's very exciting though. I'm starting off at Bob and Bert's. Hello, hello. I'm getting my eyebrows done, my face shaved, and my nails done. Sorry, your face? It's called derma planning because they shave, like take a really like small razor and like, shave your face. Yeah. No, they don't. <laughs> I have a hairy face. Oh, that's a lot of water. Joanne and we're gonna go HD my brows a bunch of you always ask always ask if it's um, microblading and it's definitely not it is a brow shape tint wax um, and thread but I don't get the threading just because we've realized through the multiple times Joanne's done my brows I have very sensitive skin with threading and I don't have lots and lots of hair you know around my brows that you're okay with not threading it yeah absolutely um, but it makes such a difference, so I'm gonna show you the before. And I think this is only six weeks this time. This is probably the closest. Mm -hmm. They're not too bad, but they definitely need definition. Like, I feel like I don't have brows at the moment, so I'm very excited. Da da da, da da da, da da! <laughs> Guys, I have a face again! Oh, 
<laughs> you honestly Yay! kill it every time. <laughs> like, my eyes look bluer. I'm gonna look even less like Olive now because <laughs> she has such <laughs> light brows, but I love it. And then at least a week after, even 10 days, I don't even wear anything in my brows. Like, the tint lasts so well. And then it's just like a perfect shape for six to eight weeks. I'd say about eight weeks I needed it again, but I'm so happy with these. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, I am rushing around like a chicken with its head cut off, and I'm in LH Beauty with Louise. Hi! <laughs> now we're gonna do derma planning, and a couple of you have already asked me like, why am I shaving my face? And that's not, that's like the layman's terms of like what it is, but um, I have so much fluff on my jawline, and obviously some, you can even see it mixed in with like the cleanser, like there's a lot. I think whenever you're a natural like blonde, blonde hair is so prominent on the face. And this is gonna, obviously you're, you're removing it with like, it looks like a scalpel almost. Yeah. So she's removing it, removes like the top layer of dead skin, everything. And all my skincare is now gonna go in so much deeper. My makeup's gonna go on smoother. My skin's gonna look smoother, so I'm excited. Skin is feeling fresh and glowy. Honestly, like, I feel like I'm a newborn baby. <laughs> like I have no makeup. She put a tinted like sunscreen on, but like very minimal tint. And you can just see like a glow to my skin. I'm really excited to do my makeup tomorrow. <laughs> Class, thank you so much. Happy Sunday, everyone. I am so pleased with my hair. Really, really happy with it. I don't know if I showed you guys like an after, proper after of it. Um, she actually took out a lot of the extensions because I found that my hair is getting thicker and longer from not dyeing it for so long. So I didn't want as many extensions in. So like everything here is like my hair. And then she just kind of bulked it out in the back so that there was like, you know, <laughs> girth to my hair thickness um it's all the same length as my natural hair so i'm really 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 pleased with that for some reason though like these pieces are going like really blonde i don't know if that's the sun or whatever just before i finish off the vlog i wanted to update you on the uh derma planning that i got so because it's like such a deep exfoli well deep an intense foliation, exfoliation of the skin because you're like taking off three weeks of dead skin cells, um, you know, your hair, everything. Your face will go through a purge because your pores are open and everything's coming out. So I do notice I have a whole bunch of little bumps, which is kind of annoying. It's a little bit like, oh, I don't want people to see my skin, but I know it goes and they're not necessarily pimples. I don't know if that makes sense. They're just like bumps everywhere. Um, my skin obviously looks glowier, smoother, brighter. Like it looks like I have baby skin. Um, so I love that. I love how my makeup went on. And like it, it's easy to like apply everything. And honestly, like my skin looks really nice. But the thing that I'm noticing is because it's so fresh and there's no hair or anything on it, my hair keeps like sticking to it. Like I always have to like peel off my hair because it's so glossy because there's nothing on it. And so then I'm touching my face more, which I'm like I'm touching your face, but has bacteria, which makes you break out. So there's pros and cons, pros and cons and everything. Um, I do like it. I want to see how it um, looks in a couple of days because it's still fresh. Like it just happened and she did um, say that I would go through a purge. So I'm not surprised but it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be which i'm thankful about but that's the one thing like we were out for a walk and like literally my hair kept like like <laughs> right to my face all the time which is really annoying so i'm like trying to be so like careful with not touching my face and just the hair but like so itchy because there's no protection anyways that's gonna be it for this vlog i'm not gonna vlog this upcoming week because i'm gonna film a couple separate videos and then i'm gonna film a travel video with all of because we haven't traveled with her for six months and she's like a full-on toddler now walking on a plane so we're gonna film that separately and then put that up um next weekend this will be live on monday um and then i'm gonna vlog the week that we're in canada so i'll see you guys in canada bye